Are you tired of that same old boring turkey and dressing for Thanksgiving? So tired. So tired. So boring. Honestly, I can't wait to eat it. But if you want to kick it up a notch and try something different for our next guest, definitely has some fresh ideas. They're always fresh and beautiful ideas, by the way. Chef Adrian Perez with Complete Eats is here with a new twist <laughs> on some hey. holiday fare. Hey, I didn't Adrian. realize everyone was so tired of turkey, but I'm the guy to see when you're tired of something. I like it. Thank you. you this know, smells amazing, thank by you the way. So much. And we haven't even done any real cooking, so if it smells good already, we're on the right track. Definitely. So we're covering for you guys today all the way from Thanksgiving to Christmas to New Year's, even to your New Year's resolutions for healthy eating. Ooh. Complete Eats offers all the services for all of the above. I love it. It's like a progressive. Absolutely. Let's we're get covering started. it all today. <laughs> so Food Network happened a couple of months ago, and I took the recipe that I made on the show, Cooks vs. Cons, and we've reproduced it to make it one a little more holiday friendly and three poultry friendly. There you are on the there food. There I am. Oh, yes, nice. a couple of snapshots. Uh, so if it. you're not in the mood to do a big turkey, if you're not wanting to do anything large for the family, or if you want to give everyone their own individual experience, Cornish hens, love them. They're beautiful, they cook fast, and they're really easy to work with. Everybody gets their own chicken. Everybody gets their own bird, <laughs> that's right. So I'm actually going to use, I like that you guys are on this side, because y'all can do all the heavy work oh. for me today. Okay. So I've got my Cornish hen, I thought, I buy it frozen. Actually, you're going to work on these uh, pecans right over here. Okay. So we're going to do a whiskey pecan cranberry Cornish hen. Oh, see, he gets me on the whiskey. Short uh -huh. owes me a little hard labor, so he's going to stuff this bird. What? So right here I've got ghee. So we're keeping this recipe paleo and gluten-free. Complete Eats is all about uh, pleasure meets healthy. So we want to keep a balance of both. Seasonal, fresh, colorful, not denying yourself anything from the menu, but still keeping it good. So a little ghee goes over the skin. Wait. Rub it right in there. Okay. I've got salt, pepper, garlic. We're keeping it simple. We're going to stuff the thyme, the herbs, and the rosemary, and the sage right into that little cavity in there. You guys are going to pop this in the oven on 350 for a good hour. Let it coast. You can throw it on a baking rack or in a small dish pan. It's perfectly fine on either one. Wait, really easy to do. So I'm shoving all of this in there? Oh, yeah. yeah. Shove it right Don't up be in shy. Don't Get be in. Shy. I mean, look, and just mix up your spices like this. Bam, look. Don't I need two gloves for this? Maybe I took your second glove. Yeah, no. I think you just, did. That's just, okay. I don't want to touch the so, rock chicken. And look, the Sorry. magic here. Pull it in there. These toasted pecans are going to go right over the top of your bird, guys. So I've got some pecan halves by the store-bought. Totally cool. We're going to toast these up also in the ghee, which, by the way, is a dairy-free grass-fed butter. So no dairy, no gluten. And we're going to toss those with cumin, a little chili powder, sea salt, and a touch of brown sugar. Those Amazing. go right over the top. Here's one of my favorites. Grandpa always loved his whiskey during the holidays. Oh. Big, big, big glass sitting on the stove one day. I thought it was iced tea. Took a big swing. Oh, welcome Needless to, to say, the holidays. I was oh, the, there quite, he is. Yes, I was quite the entertainer at lunch. That day. Oh, wow. I heard his voice in my head when I smelled this pecan whiskey on the set of the Food Network. Smell this. So we're marinating, oh. we're marinating cranberries smell. in this. Wow. wow. That's what this is, right? Into the skillet it goes with a little bit of brown sugar, bell peppers, onions, and Pour a poblano pepper. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Pour that right in. Oh, that skillet is so pretty. Oh, that. that's amazing. Color, beautiful. The kids will love it. It looks like a bowl of candy. Pop it over some sweet potatoes here, which no brown sugar, no cinnamon on my sweet potatoes. We're taking them salt, pepper, garlic, and a little lime juice. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Voila. Wait, so that is a, yes. that's one person's dish. But when yes. it comes to cooking the bird, though, how long did you say you cooked this for? 350 for an hour. 350 for a full uh, hour. The how do you know when it's done? At 165, the juices in the bottom will run clear. And you want to temp it out during the thigh in the thickest part. Juices run clear. Yes, so sir. it's sort of like how you cook a turkey, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Same thing, shorter time. Smaller. Can I take these gloves off? You can take the glove off, okay. sir. You are clocked out for the day. All right, cocktail time. I've got a nice little apple mint spritzer here today. Apple cider. A little bit of your favorite Moscato goes in there. If you want to punch it up a bit, a couple of cups of vodka does really well in oh, here. Oh, see, A little bit like of my goes in there, yes. <laughs> and I've got some cinnamon sticks, mint, orange peel, apple, and of course I use my oranges and the peel as well. And this is something without the ice that you could do ahead of time to kind of let it... Right, so you can buy this fruit frozen if you just want to pop it in there and it chills it for you. A little bit of orange zest, bam, cinnamon stick goes in there. Beautiful. Drink away. Wow. Drink it away. Looks so good. For you. Thank Cheers. you. You're welcome. Adrian. And Cheers. pair this up for some of our light bites from complete. Oh! No. This is why I made a fourth glass. I knew I had things. Oh, I where's I Waldo? Y'all, we got to come <laughs> in Waldo? and check it there out. Light Bites from Complete Eats. We will blow you away with presentation and flavor. Call us. We work with all kinds of budgets, all kinds of parties, all kinds of occasions. This is my shrimp crostini here. Everything made from scratch. Sun-dried tomatoes dried out personally. Thank you. Our red wine, brie, and beef crostini. Love this one. I'm obsessed with this Light Bite. It's so beautiful. Please dive in if you want okay, to try Okay, I'm just waiting for the, you know, the cue. 
Thank you. And listen, when New Year's hits, Complete Eats does offer meal delivery. We deliver to a wide range, mm. whether you're a stay-at-home mom or dad, mm -hmm. or in the medical field, you just need some quick meals. All of our meals range from no salt, steamed and poached, to specialty, like our truffled bison. We even have our cheat day meals if you need a little high protein, high calorie treat for the week. So oh we have a great gosh. line of meal delivery. Email us from completeeats.com and you guys can find out how to get on that mailing list. And how, what would you recommend for planning our Thanksgiving dinner? So like I wanted to talk about this. Timing is everything. You want everything to come out at the right, right time. So plan your menu. Okay, my potatoes take this long. My turkey takes this long. So I start potatoes here. I start my stuffing here. So plan your menu. Make a timeline. It is the best way to get your cooking done for the whole family. And it always takes longer always. than you think it's going yes. to. So just yes. keep pouring your Chardonnay and have fun at it and cook and if it comes out a little bit blackened then do we call it blackened not burned i love it i love it but you can prep too by cooking or Absolutely. cutting ahead of time ahead or of doing time something is always good casserole is always good to make ahead of time your green bean casserole make it ahead of time it gets better overnight pop those in the oven when it's time to go and worry about the bird last but not least i love wow. it and you know this drink by the way we will have the recipe and uh the food recipes on our website later today this is kind of dangerous because I don't taste Jeez. any alcohol in it. No, I know. It's one of those you just keep drinking. I put the vodka in yesterday. Don't worry. I like it. To connect with Adrian, just visit completeeats.com. Thank you so thank much. You so Happy much, holidays. Guys. Happy holidays. Adrian, thank you. Great thank you. seeing you. Thank you.